Hello and welcome to this review of the LA electric guitar by Gear for Music. This is their Stratocaster style guitar and it is very much at the budget end. So if this interests you, if you're a beginner or a modder or somebody who just fancies a Strat to have some fun with, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And in this review, we're going to go into all the deep dive neck profile, the weight, what's inside the guitar, how it feels, how it plays. There'll be a sound demo as well. So um, yeah, do stick around. An incredibly cheap Strat style guitar for the money, incredibly. So the question is really whether it's worth it. And during this video, we'll find that out. So first impressions of the guitar, the sunburst finish is actually quite nice. It does have that black and then slight orangey ready fade there and then into the sort of orange sunburst. The actual wood grain you can see through there looks pretty good as well. Um, again, it's not going to blow your socks off, but it does actually look really nice. Now, what is different as well, what struck me straight away with this guitar was that the actual body shape is a little bit different to a normal Stratocaster. So a Squire Affinity or something or a Squire Sonic or a Fender does have a, a slightly less uh, pronounced curve on this part of the guitar than this does. So they have made it slightly different looking. Um, it still does have the very nice sort of belly cut there. Um, so it's incredibly comfortable. And something else I really liked um, was this, the way it's bolted on here. So a lot of the time you have like a small metal plate that goes on the back there. And this is just um, bolted straight on with little metal recesses. That actually looks really cool. It actually looks really nice there. I, I really think that's a nice feature. Looks good. In terms of the overall materials, it, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Now, as you would expect, it does have the tremolo arm, which feels good. That actually is, is it functions quite well, as you'll see in the Dan Sound demo. It doesn't go wildly out of tune when you do use it. Um, the bridge quality is okay. Um, inside the guitar, um, I'll show you that now as well. Pretty much as you'd expect, it's a small trem block and three springs. It looks held in pretty well and looks fairly neat and tidy really for a cheap guitar. So pretty good really. The pickups are what they are. They actually, they're actually quite good. Now what I would say about the pickups is that they're quite quiet. So um, relatively speaking, if you're plugging in different guitars into your amplifier, you'll probably have to just crank up the volume knob on your amplifier to get the same level of volume out of these. Again, it's probably a slight symptomatic of them being cheap, but they don't sound bad though. You could definitely switch these out and have some really good fun with these, absolutely no doubt. Switch out to some um, much hotter pickups, get your sort of Stevie Ray Vaughan sounds, etc., your Jimi Hendrix, but you can do that with this already. Um, just straight out of the box, it sounds pretty good. You've got your five-way switch. Now, another thing which is a slight strange one from my perspective was that it, a normal Stratocaster has a volume and two tones. This only, only actually has one tone on it. It functions absolutely fine. Um, it maybe has a result that is slightly less versatility, I guess, in the tone. It's not going to make a big difference to a beginner at all. Um, really, somebody who's just starting out, you're not going to notice. It sounds really pretty decent for the price. Looking under the scratch plate, we can see um, there's quite a lot of sort of sawdust and bits and pieces, but it's actually not too bad in there. It actually looks like, and indeed it is the case, we have uh, space for two humbucker pickups and a single and a mill in the middle, which is rather good because it comes with singles, but it does mean that this for modders could be a rather good modding platform. And it does actually look really quite good in there. You see the single core pickups there, all attached as you would expect. I mean, obviously these are cheaper pickups, so um, not too many surprises. And smaller pots as well for the tone and volume. As we said, there's only got it's only got one tone and one volume, but it looks quite good. Um, the only thing I would say really here would be, um, you can see how roughly cut that is. So the, the plastic has just been kind of roughly cut into shape. It does it does fit into shape. You could just sand that off if that bothers you that much. The jack socket again, that's something else on a cheap guitar which could um, really cause you issues. If it's either loose or it's too stiff, um, it actually works fine that. Uh, the, the plug goes in absolutely very nicely indeed. Very happy with that. The fretboard. Now the fretboard itself, um, you can see here the actual fret ends 
have been quite nicely rounded off which I was really surprised about because I've just done a review of the Groat Les Paul and I'll link to that in the cards up above. And I was really surprised that um, it, it was very, very sharp uh, when playing up and down, but it really was so uncomfortable. Um, whereas this, I haven't had to do anything work to the fret ends at all. And the, le the frets themselves are actually pretty level on this guitar. So um, props to Gear for Music for that. Really, really good work. The neck material itself, the actual wood looks, the back of the neck looks quite nice. It's got some nice figuring in there, which again, I wouldn't have necessarily expected. So again, really, really nice work for Gear for Music. Um, the fretboard material, they're calling Poplar Laminate. Now, um, you can sort of feel that it's a laminate. It's it's um, it's 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 got a different feel to it from rosewood. It's fairly smooth. Um, but when I put lemon oil onto it, it sort of made it feel a bit rough. But when that dried, it kind of went. It's it's gone nice and smooth again. So. I, it's a it's a strange it's obviously having a laminate material for a fretboard it's a bit of a it's a bit of an odd oddity and obviously as you go up the tiers you're going to get rosewood you're going to get more sort of high quality woods but this is okay it's it's it feels all right in particular i do like the neck profile of, of this guitar this is what the neck profile looks like at the first fret and at the 12th fret so it's very consistent and it feels like a very comfortable c shape Depth of the first fret is 22.4 millimeters, and it's very consistent, so it's 22.5 millimeters at the 12th. The nut width is dead on 42 millimeters. This actually feels like it's got something to grip onto. With the sort of beginner guitars, you can often find that what manufacturers do is they slim out the neck really a lot, almost too much. Now, I've seen people increasingly argue and I would be an advocate for this that for a beginner having a little bit more to hold on to actually makes it a lot easier and leads to a lot less cramp in your hand so um, this neck does feel like there's a little bit more to grip onto it's not a massive neck it's not um, it's not a ginormous baseball bat neck not by any means it's very much a medium sort of neck but it feels very very comfortable this it's not going to make your hand cramp up I really really I really do like the neck a lot the nut itself it's a little bit on the rough side tiny bit um, you can see a little bit of the plastic there that's just coming out the side Again, symptomatic of it being sort of cheap, but again, you can smooth this stuff off if you want to. Truss rod in there, um, standard Allen key style. Might be a bit difficult to see. And the tuners, although they're very basic, the tuners do their job rather well. Um, I haven't really had any problems with the tuners. Now, I would also say that it is it's incredibly lightweight. It's around 2.5 kilos or thereabouts which is the equivalent of around about five pounds and 10 ounces, give or take. So it's a very, very light guitar. And without further ado, let's get into the sound demo. And after that, I'll give you my um, overall thoughts on the guitar.
a quick tremolo arm test as well, just to see how well that really does hold up. Um, it's unplugged, but you'll get the idea. That's, it's actually quite loud for an unplug. That's the E. Let's give it a really good. Yeah, really, really trying here. Going. So the sound. Still not bad, frankly. Really, really, really went to town on that. So not bad, really. Um, the tremolo arm works quite well and it doesn't go crazy out of tune once you've used it. Nice. So my overall thoughts on the guitar, it's actually a really, really good package. It's by far one of the cheapest Stratocasters you can get. For a beginner, it's a great way to get started, I think. Certainly it should be on the list for you to consider. Um, if you're a beginner or if you're a modder and you want to take this thing apart and start playing with it, maybe change some of the parts inside, um, it's a really, really good platform to get started in. It's not going to cost you very much to get started on this one. So yeah, definitely on the list. So there you are. Thanks very much. And uh, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.